Dr. Jerome Corsi, who is the senior staff writer for WND.com, reports that as a student at Harvard Law School, then-bachelor Barack Obama's practice of wearing a gold band on his wedding ring finger puzzled his colleagues. Now, newly published photographs of Obama from the 1980s show that the ring Obama wore on his wedding ring finger as an unmarried student is the same ring that Michelle put on his finger at the couple's wedding ceremony in 1992. Moreover, according to Arab Arabic language and Islamic experts, the ring Obama has been wearing for more than 30 years is adorned with the first part of the Islamic Declaration of Faith, the Shahada, which says, There is no God except Allah. The Shahada is the first of the five pillars of Islam, expressing the two fundamental beliefs that make a person a Muslim. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is Allah's prophet. Sincere recitation of the Shahada is the sole requirement for becoming a Muslim, as it expresses a person's rejection of all other gods. Egyptian-born Islamic scholar Mark A. Gabriel, Ph.D., examined photographs of Obama's ring at WND's request and concluded that the first half of the Shahada is inscribed on it. Quote, there can be no doubt that someone wearing the inscription, There is no God except Allah, has a very close connection to Islamic beliefs, the Islamic religion, and Islamic society to which this statement is so strongly attached. Dreams from my real father producer, Joel Gilbert, an Arabic speaker and an expert on the Middle East, was the first to conclude that Obama's ring, reportedly from Indonesia, bore an Islamic inscription. Photographs published last week by The New Yorker from Obama's time at Occidental College, taken by fellow students, indicate that the ring Obama wore three decades ago is the same one he is now wearing in the White House. Obama still has not explained why he wore the band on his wedding ring finger before he married Michelle and why that ring was the ring used in his wedding ceremony. Do you ever wish that you could more powerfully, succinctly, and accurately speak to the message of your Christian faith and the Word of God? This is the book you need, The Magic Man in the Sky, Effectively Defending the Christian Faith. This book has been featured on TBN, Atlanta Live, dozens of radio programs, and hundreds of markets. It was rave-reviewed by the Washington Times, and it was called a must-read book. Considering the times in which we now live, you need this book. Get it today on Amazon.com or the WND Superstore.